Hey guys, just before we get stuck into this week's video, uh, I'm currently editing, hence why I'm moving around and uh, I'm looking different in the next shot. Uh, but my challenge for you this week, before we get stuck into the video, uh, pick up a new skill. Learn something new, or learn, or keep, pick something up that you've been learning for a little while and keep practicing. Get yourself moving, get yourself thinking. Uh, I'm doing it myself, I'm picking up my bass guitar, uh, relearning that, it's been great fun. So that's my challenge for you this week. Uh, but yeah, let's get stuck into this week's video. I'm gonna begin today uh, by reading from Matthew chapter 28, uh, verses one to seven. So go grab your Bible, follow along if you want. After the Sabbath at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and he is going to, to ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Today is a time to celebrate. It might not feel like it, as it's another normal day, because what of what's going on in the world, the pain you feel. That is how Jesus felt when he was in the tomb after dying for us. He felt that pain. But today, today is the day that all falls to the ground because Jesus has overcome it. He did that for you. Last week, we talked about no matter what we do, Jesus still chooses us. And now it's our turn. Do we choose Jesus in amongst of all the pain? Do we choose Jesus in everything that draws our attention to it rather than him do we choose Jesus for him to shower his love over us and his support for us believe me I find it hard to do that every day every day I find that hard I get distracted I get annoyed I get upset I find it hard we don't have to be perfect for Jesus all he wants us to do is to love him, to stand up and trust him. And that is a big statement. Holding on to the hope and the truth that Jesus has risen. Holding on to that is a big, big statement. I've got a question for you guys. What does Jesus mean to you? Have a think about that question and watch the video that I've linked down below. It's a really good video uh, surrounding uh, darkness and light and how Jesus has overcome pain and suffering. Be safe and I'll see you next week. Bye.